Show you guys a little trick. See that? Boom. Okay. Hot glue gun. So you got have crown trim on the cabinets. You don't want to. It's risky shooting nails for one because if you so if you see, trying to get it where you can see me. Let me see. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. All right. Anyways, to try to shoot a piece of trim up like this, right? Try to shoot it in there, even with a little 18 gauge uh, nailer, a little 18 gauge um, Brad nailer. Okay, high pressure shoots the nail in, no problem. Generally, there's no problems. Okay, can you see? Sorry, I got the camera backwards. Like even up here. Seamless, almost, I don't say flawless, but almost flawless. But even on this one, it's just the way some of the crown comes, it's racked, or the box of the cabinets, um, they're just off kilter, just a tad. They're not perfect square. So as a result, um, you attach this first to the cabinet, and then you got to put the crown on that. So it's just sometimes it works out where you can just use a hot glue gun, but... Right there, there's one little nail in the same over here. But the less amount of nails you have to have to use on crown trim or any trim for that matter, the better. Okay. Um, I mean, realistically, if you do a bunch of base trim, very few na very few uh, brad nails and caulking across the top, and then it gets painted. It's never coming off the wall. Okay. So. When I'm doing crown trim on cabinets especially, you don't want nails. I mean, very, very few nails. Okay, so you got something like that. So what we'll do is we'll use a hot glue gun. Okay, just a couple dabs. And then we will also use a few dabs of Loctite. Alrighty. And that's the jam. There's no nails, uh, no you know, no patch paint, none of that type of stuff. It works out great, and uh, it's just an overall better product. So I'll show you how we do that. Let me get this hot glue gun warmed up. Okay, good deal. All right, so check this out. Glue gun set up. Got it hot. Got some Loctite. Did a little test here. Okay, glued this piece to this piece. I mean, you can't even... I can't... I glued this, oh, where are we at? this little piece right here to this piece. <clears throat> I mean, I had to wrench it on there and look, it took the paint off with it. Yeah, it's legit. It's real good. Okay. That was me yanking on it. So, uh, you don't have to have the Loctite. I would put it on there anyways. Okay. Um, what you want to do is you want to get your piece that you're attaching, you want to rasp that up with a piece of sandpaper or sand and block, and then you want to just barely rasp the bottom of the cabinet where you're going to attach to, okay? So, let's do that. Do a sanding block. Okay, so this one you don't ever see the top, you see the top... There's the line we got marked, so you'll see all this top. So you want to get sanded just behind that line there. And I mean, it'd be the same up top as some regular crown. So take the, that shiny, smooth finish off. Just a little bit. Heck, you could even do it in a couple spots. Wipe that sucker off. There we go. Get it good and clean. Just a little bit on this cabinet right here and be careful that way you don't want to sand off the uh, hit any other part of the cabinet. It's got a nice finish to it. Simply to uh, just where you're going to glue at. Okay. So, 
I'm going to have to be quick about this. Try to stay out of the way. Let me see. It's not right here. Can you see? Is it fun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice there. Boom. Yeah, okay. So we got here. I'll put three little dabs. Oh, excuse me. Tiny dab of this Loctite, maybe. Boom. All right, good stuff. Yeah. Let me get messy. Say a little dab will do you. Put it right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Just enough. See four little spots. Okay. And we'll put one, two, three. There. Two. Three. See, you gotta be quick though. This stuff does not play. You don't have much time to adjust it either. That's it. And she is tight. That is all the time you have right there. <clears throat> That's it. It's not much time. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Nice. We'll do the next one the same. Let me see where I go. Try to keep my ugly mug out of the screen, but you know, just like that. And you'll notice you got a couple little white spots and little stuff's popping out. The hot glue, especially. Let it get totally hard. It'll clip. It'll pop right out of there this here we'll have to get like a little corner piece of a sponge no that's just that loctite it'll wipe right out of there well that's it man you know make you a little mark because it has to happen so quick you make you a little mark you see that little pencil mark i have right on the edge there you see a little tick mark i've got right right there that's so i know where the edge is that's it Boom. Okay, let's do a little. little. Yeah, like a little tripod or yeah. something. Okay, we are on film. Okay, so first one's done. We did that one. We're gonna do another one here. Kind of zoom. Oh, can't zoom. I got the phone back. All right. So, oh, keep your trim up. Right on the edge. Really, this is probably overkill. Probably don't need this lock tight on here. We're gonna put it on here anyway. Okay. See it? A few dabs down through there. It's funny holding the phone like that. Can't really see. A few dabs, doo -doo -doo. about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven little dabs of Loctite. And me and Mr. Bradley here have already pre-marked where we're going to stick it. He knows where he's at, I know where I'm at, because you only got about 10 seconds. <laughs> That's it. You got about 10 freaking seconds, and that is all. All right, here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put... I'll put... One, two, what do you think, yeah? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Okay. 
All right, that's it. Now that's the door, of course. Yeah. We got to adjust these doors. Uh, that's not our deal, though. Somebody already had these up. We got called in to fix somebody else's mess. But that's good. Uh, see it there? Boom, boom, boom. All right, like, let's get you a little bit of a. One second. <laughs> nope. Okay. Wait, 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 Greg, what's that? Oh, did you? Okay, good. <clears throat> Boom. Gone. Okay. That's it. And we'll, that'll pop out. That gets real hard. That glue, it'll pop out later. And then all these, just... That's it. Just like that. We have almond caulking to match the cabinets later on, but... That's it. So, see how nice and clean she lined up here? I mean, it looks really good. So, it's money. Boom. Same thing works with crown. Your crown ready to. We'll do one of the crown too, just for the heck of it. But uh, crown's a little more tricky. The upper crown compared to the bottom, just because it tweaks. Like I talked about earlier on the video, it'll tweak a little bit, and sometimes you have to nail it together. Uh, we did a job down in Everglades City where we actually used glue, a glue gun on the whole thing. Worked out good. But there was one spot where she was racking and twisting a little bit, and we had to shoot one nail. I hated it, but it's just sometimes part of the deal. But if you can use a glue gun to do trim, crown trim, you know, you're not going to run around a whole house and do it. But way better. Just way better. It's working too good not to video. Okay, can't you even see up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can see. Can you? With the phone on. Like the sun right here on the face. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, that works. It's a beautiful thing. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I used to try to find out. Oh, I will fly. Just a minute, ladies and gentlemen. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Oh, yeah. Money. Okay. So, let's get some... Set it back there. Look, you can see we already did this one. It's sat in there beautiful. The ceiling's a little off kilter back there, you can see, but that's okay. Alright, so she's locked in. No nails. Pull that thing off here in a couple days. Had a pry bar hardly. Alright, so we got this. Lock tight. Uh -huh. Where we at is the bottom here? Yeah, yeah, that's Alright. I know, right? It's right over there. It's uh, oh, is it? Yeah. I've got it. It's been off there. Oh, I could unhook it and it'd still be okay for a second. All right, let's see here. All right, so you see. All right, so that's the top of the crown right there. This this piece. Go ahead and lift it up, Brandon. Like as if we were going to stick it, but don't. See how she sits up like that? Okay, so 
you got some Loctite on the top. All right, see that? One, two, three, four down through there. That'll smush up against the ceiling and lock itself in place. And then this is the bottom side here. All the way down, one, two, three, four, five, six, six down through there. And that's gonna, go ahead and pick it up. Now is going to lock in right here, just like we locked this one in earlier, okay? Essentially at this point, uh, the hot glue gun is just like an immediate bond. Technically, yeah, you could go ahead and uh, <clears throat> fully bond it with the hot glue gun and it, it would never come off, but at least with this Loctite, you know, it's, might as well be liquid nail you're using. I know it's not coming off. We go to sleep and not have to worry at all. Um, okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. Where do you want to put it? On the bottom is off. Yeah, one, one, two, three. three. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, gotta be quick. Be quick. One. Try to get some on Bradley's arm for him. He would love that. And get a little on the end right here. Take a little longer on one. right in there, squeeze right in there real tight. I mean, oh, there. they call it, oh, golly, it's called Loctite for a reason because it, it grabs, it's almost like grabber, it, it instantly bonds itself, but with that uh, hot glue gun, make sure you put some hot glue on the seams of these 45s or your 45 is crowned. That's it, man. That's a wrap. That quick. Okay. I'll cut this crown here, Brad, then we'll hit this last yep. one. Put that sucker back in. All right, good stuff. Look. Boom. Heck yeah, dude. We'll caulk that edge and then wipe it with a sponge but there is not a fastener in that whole piece of crown right down through there no need to touch up none of that i mean it's the jam dude so <clears throat> all right we will cut this last piece right here get some crown made for that stick it and we're done oh yeah let me show you the rest of this we did the bottom we finished the bottom up i mean can't argue with that Gotta love it. Let's see what else. Let's see what Bradley's doing. It's a bench seat here for the farm table. We build a farm table or make a farm table, and uh, this will have a bench that comes out to here. Have some power off the side there. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. We rebuilt this whole floor in this house. Uh, did the backsplash yesterday and the day before. Got it done. So. Did all the drywall, redid all the drywall ceilings, put all these cam lights in here. We got lucky. It's only the second time we've ever done this in our life. We we'll cut the last piece of crown for uh, that other set of cabinets, but I just figured I'd show you this little cut station. Okay, this is important too. <clears throat> I've got big, fancy soles, big 14 inch, or excuse me, big 12 inch. The waltz and stuff like that. It seems we take this little saw everywhere. It's so beat up. Literally, just earlier, the shroud broke and fell off. Um, if I can get another shroud for it, we'll probably keep it. Uh, look, the handle's broke. I mean, we, this saw has been so good. Cuts true, true, true. That's the thing. You can get a brand new saw, and uh, sometimes they just don't they just don't cut that great. You know, they got those fez tools, fez tool saws, or you know, like a nice DeWalt or Makita or something like that. Um, this thing keeps trucking. Anyhow, um, 
Uh, obviously, always use something that has a protective guard or shroud on it. The only reason I'm using this is for some fact that we're in the boondocks. I mean, look. God bless the farmers of America. But um, I run back to the house and grab a different salt, but we're 40 minutes away from the house, so that, just, that ain't gonna happen. We're almost done. But um, get you some clamps like this. Uh, the, a lot of newer saws or bigger saws, they come with clamps right here so you can actually lock down some stuff. What you want to do is get get you a first piece of crown setting perfect in there. See how that back sits right against there? Right against the back gate of that saw. It's called the gate. It sits, I mean, it's it's money, right? Nice and flush in there. And once you get it sitting there, have a buddy or have somebody help you, get you a clamp up underneath here and get you a guide piece for the front. It makes it a no-brainer. Okay, and all you do is slide your piece of crown in there and she sits automatically where she's supposed to. Okay, and here's the other thing. Always cut your crown upside down. Remember, measure your short point and cut upside down. And then from there you just gotta, you know, envision in your mind which, which side is which when you take it out and put it up, you know what I mean? So bottom line, I gotta cut one that's 12 and a half. I know my flat end, this is gonna be my flat end because because we cut upside down. We cut the crown upside down. So this is my flat end and I know my short piece, the cabinet that touches the actual cabinet is 12 and a half. So from here to you know somewhere around here, 12 and a half. That's my short. And so then you adjust your saw. Always make sure she locks in at your 45 mark because you will overshoot it a lot. And then uh, always cut long. You can always go in, check your uh, crown up there, or even trim or anything. You can always recut it. <laughs> you can't uncut it. Okay, so cut it, cut it 12 and 3 eighths. Take it in there. If it fits, good. Sometimes you measure wrong, um, but you can recut it. So cut it long, check it get it in there always dry fit your pieces first especially if you don't cut do crown a lot i mean i don't do crown all day every day all year long i don't i do a fair share of it but i always me and a buddy get up there you know one of these guys that's with me or working for me we'll stick it up there we'll dry fit it i'll go okay good she's gonna fit good don't ever start sticking stuff till you know it's gonna fit in the your miter edges line up right okay so i just want to show you this cutting setup that way uh you got an idea of how you know you cut a perfect 45 every time. One more time. Just for the heck of it. There we go. That's what I need to show you. top here's another thing make sure you get closer to uh, how do I want to say the, the um, not so close to the edge because if you press this crap tight it will get it too close to the edge right here should when you press it up against there it'll and squirt out the front and then you don't want to have to deal with all that so keep towards the back a little more all right I'll put the hot glue to it Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Good? Beautiful down here. Press tight, press tight. Okay, she's tight. Yeah. That's it, man. It don't take long. Who sets up quick? Just that fast. What was that? Ten seconds? Yeah. Yeah. You don't wait too long. Look at that. Just what I was talking about. See how right up here? Where you can see my finger. See it squirts there. It's squirt out a little bit. Same thing there. So. That's all right though, we we'll fix that. That's it, simple as that. Put this next piece on. Shout out still.